Michel Jensen. Michel Cole Mike Jensen, born November 13, 1939, an American economist, works in the area of finance economics. Between 2000 and 2009, he worked for Monitor Company Group, a strategy consulting firm, which became Monitor delayed in 2013. He holds the position of Jesse Isidor Strauss, Professor of Business Administration Emeritus at Harvard University in the USA. Biography Mitchell Jensen was born on November 13, 1939 in Rochester, Minnesota, United States. He received his A.B. in economics from McAllister College in 1962. He received his M.B.A. in 1964 and Ph.D. in 1968 degrees from the University of Chicago Booth School of Business, notably working with Professor Merton Miller, 1990 co-winner of the Nobel Prize in Economics. Between 1967 and 1988, Jensen was a professor of finance and business administration at the William E. Simon Bridges School of Business Administration of the University of Rochester. He also founded and managed between 1977-88 the Managerial Economics Research Center at the University of Rochester. Since 1985, Mitchell Jensen also joined the Harvard Business School, keeping a double appointment until 1988, when he left the University of Rochester, remaining only at Harvard. In 2000, Jensen retired from academic work, remaining a professor emeritus at Harvard, and joined the consulting company Monitor Group. He was also a visiting scholar at the University of Bern, 1976, Harvard University, 1984-85, before joining the faculty, and Tuck School of Business at Dartmouth College, 2001-2002. In 1992, he held the chair of president of the American Finance Association. He became a member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1996 and since 2002 has been a board member of the European Corporate Governance Institute. Jensen is also a founder and editor of the Journal of Financial Economics. The Jensen Prize in Corporate Finance and Organizations Research is named in his honor. Research Professor Jensen has played an important role in the academic discussion of the capital asset pricing model of stock options policy and corporate governance, developing a method of measuring fund manager performance, the so-called Jensen Alpha. Jensen's best-known work is the 1976 paper he co-authored with William H. Mecklin, Theory of the Firm, Managerial Behavior, Agency Cost, and Ownership Structure, one of the most widely cited economics papers of the last 40 years. Besides reigniting interest in the theory of the public corporation as an ownerless entity made up of only contractual relationships, a field pioneered by Roald Kass, the paper laid the foundation for the widespread use of the stock options as executive compensation tools. It was in 1990 Harvard Business Review article, CEO Incentives is Not How Much You Pay But How, by Jensen and Kevin Yot Murphy that prescribed executive stock options in order to maximize shareholder value. The justification they gave was the shareholders were the residual claimants of the corporation, meaning that they had the sole right to profits. This idea that shareholders are the sole residual claimants was later challenged by the legal scholars and some, for example, Stout 2002 actively reject it in favor of other arguments for shareholder primacy. After Jensen and Murphy 1990, Congress passed a law making it cost-effective to pay executives in equity. As a result, executives had a financial incentive to focus their efforts on increasing stock price. In short run, some executives even manipulated accounting numbers, for example, in run global crossing cases, to achieve this goal. In the long run, executives outsourced labor to reduce costs, then use the resulting cash flows from the labor cost savings to repurchase stock, thus increasing their own compensation as well as enriching shareholders. Over the last 20 years, stock buybacks total a few trillion dollars. Jensen has collaborated several times with Werner Erhard. The backbone of their study is ontological phenomenological model. For information about notes and references and external links, see the web page. Thank you.